Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to go after the Alchemist Mortar and Pestle and uh, potentially also get the cook rescued, or the farmer, rather, um, if we have enough time. So that is a planned Stan. And um, let's see, we also need to do some more Shroud Roots and Elixir Wells. How are we doing on points? Uh, we have zero points, yeah. Um, we currently have quick charge. That was a really big one I wanted to get to. And we need four points to get blink going. Um, so that's what we're working towards at the moment. And uh, yeah, so let's get uh, our full rested bonus here. And then we'll take off and go after the mortar and pestle. That one's a real important one for us to get because um, it's going to open up some more potions and spells and other good stuff. For us to do here um yeah so we need the mortar for for making the bug dust and the glow dust and all that sort of thing then we can also make the um the light potions okay so let's see let's go to the journal we want alchemist mortar is the active quest and that's going to be uh, a couple of different stages it looks like and that is going to be located uh, beyond the queen's tomb okay so let's just fast travel to our altar that is staged near the queen's tomb and uh, start heading in that direction. I'm going to actually pick some more of this too. Um, we have the queen's tomb as well on the list. But uh, that one's not as important I, I mean we get the we get the cool shield to you know for doing it but again that's that's kind of a less important in fact i'm going to be switching to a uh ethereal shield or you know however you call it the magic shields as soon as i find a good one um and maybe even pop, possibly just the next one that we do find i know that the blacksmith makes one hmm, i'm gonna be able to get through this way Yeah, I think we can go around because we're going to have to go down into the shroud for this one. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll be going with the magic shield um, as soon as possible. The blacksmith can make one, but I opted to go with this one first just because it's, you know, this physical shield because it was quite a bit better than the one he can make. Okay, so before we go all the way down here, let's do our uh, shroud potion. And I'm not going to do this for now just because it'll reduce our shroud time. Um, we're going to want to go spirit, intellect, and health. And we want to make sure we have fire ball on here. Okay. Let's do this. The first time I did this quest, uh, you know, on my first playthrough... Uh, I ran into a pretty tough enemy down here. I don't remember if it's the shield guy. I think it might be might be the shield guy. Oh yeah, these guys are level 11, so we're going to have to be careful here. Ah oh, shit, I hit the tree. Alright, let's just top off our health here. Well, we can definitely kill them with two two fireballs at this point. Um, we need to go off this way. Yeah, we got to get to that tower, and we can get out of the shroud to refresh once we get up on the tower.
So it's probably yeah a good idea in general. And well, no, it isn't probably. It is a good idea in general when you're playing a mage in this game to, you know, obviously use your staff at range, but when they close, switch to shield and wand. Uh, if, well, unless you do that. <laughs> And we have to watch our mana too. Okay, so for this guy, because our mana is low. I believe there, I think this is the, oh shit, the guy up on the stairs there is the significantly tough enemy, if I remember right. Um, anyway, there's a, I think there's a pretty nice sword weapon in this spot too. In this area. Alright. The big bad's coming. He's level 15. But his shield doesn't do him a whole lot of good against magic attacks, which is good for us. Plus he slows down when he tries to get to us with his tower shield, which is not the smartest move on his part. Okay, let's wand him down the rest of the way so I don't run completely out of mana. Oh, that's... Oh, they must have changed that. That's not hurting him. That is... Hmm. If he can block wand attacks, that that's going to be interesting. Uh, fighting him moving forward. It appeared like he was. I, it doesn't se seem like any of that was doing any damage to him at all. Okay, so that takes care of the enemies in this area here. Now, again, I think there's a chest around here, as I recall. And it should have a pretty decent sword in it. Not that we care a whole lot about swords, but hey, runes if nothing else, right? Um, just got to remember where that is. Yeah, I think it's buried right here. place here there it is hail scorch yeah okay cool um 26 damage yeah a definite upgrade over this so let's turn that into runes and if we do need a melee weapon we got a decent one there okay we gotta get to the tower here because we gotta refresh our shroud. And we should run into the purple flower things here, which we need the yeah, there they are. We need the stuff from them. Okay, we one shot him. They drop the uh, shroud uh, pouch thingies that we need for our glider. Shroud sacks, yeah. Sacks, pouches, you know. It's all the same stuff. Ooh, that's the first time we've seen those mushrooms, too. Oh, come on, man. Get the hell up there. I'm trying to get to his 
pouch. There we go. Alright, something else shot at us. Oh, it was you. Uh-oh. I was going to say, am I stuck? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we got to get up here. I'm not paying attention. There. Okay, now we can replen our, shra our shroud protection. We took just a little bit of damage. Let's uh, heal ourselves a bit. Okay, now let's go get the pouches. Um, oh, we got a chest here. Okay, pause the screen to read that. That we will melt down. Okay, let's get back up here again. Get right here. There we go. Okay. And then there's a guy up there, too. All right. Good. So we got four of those. I think we need a total of ten. Uh, did you... You're not locked on anymore. I do not like the lock on in this game, or any game for that matter. Okay, we're doing good. Um, we need to go down to get the... No, I think we have to go up first. We don't really need that. We have to go up to open up the thingy. Yeah, we're going to have to deal with rats in here. And there are some things to loot in this place. Okay, let's go up. This is an actual wizard's tower. If it wasn't in the shroud, I would even consider fixing it up and taking it for ourselves, but I don't want to live in the shroud. Who the hell wants to do that? Pause screen. And we got a couple of potions there. Okay, up to the next level. I right. could remember if there was something behind there or not. Oh, yeah, okay, that's the button we needed. Uh, while we're up here, let's get rid of a few things because we're getting full. Just don't need any of that shit. One mycelium is not worth taking up an inventory slot. Um, those we can turn into string. I think we'll hang on to the rest of that. There we go. Wizard boots. All right. Let's see. There are these an upgrade. Let's go equip character. These are level thirteen, level eight. Hmm. We lose a mana regeneration, though, even though they give us health regen, which is good. I don't think I want to give up mana regeneration, though, to be honest with you. I'll, I'll hang on to them for the moment. Um, But yeah, I don't like the idea of giving up the mana regen. Okay, is 
there something in here? Yes. Some healing spells. That was good. Okay, let's go all the way to the top. I don't remember if there's anything else up here or not, so... Uh, more mycelium. Oh, there's another chest, and... Oh, hey, look at that. We sat down. How about that? Okay, yeah, pause that to read. Lightning, nice. I like lightning. Uh, in fact, when it's all said and done, lightning may end up being our... Our main power, lightning and fire. We'll see. Haven't decided that yet. All right, I think we're pretty much finished. There's certainly some things I could scrap, but I'm not worried about that right now. And we go down. We may have some more rats down here. I'm not sure. Okay, and here we go. All right, fantastic. That's going to open up some good stuff for us. Don't know what the point in doing that is when we could have just walked around the door and come back out the other side again, but whatever. Uh, any potions to loot in here? Oh. More lightning. Beautiful. Okay. Um, let us go home and do the usual, and then we'll go after our farmer. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And good morning to you all, too, by the way. This is Thursday morning. Um, I'm actually on, on vacation all week, so I've been cranking out these videos and Planet Crafter videos. For those of you who don't know, I have a Planet Crafter series going on, uh, shameless plug time here, and uh, it's actually going to be released in 1.0 on April 10th, so I'm trying to get through the series before that happens. Um, I'm really enjoying the game, so stop by and see it if you haven't already. Okay, so anyway, let's talk to you. We got the mortar. Okay, so now we just have to place it down. We are, stronger together. we are stronger together. Let's go here, grab this, put it right there. And we're just going to set it right next to the grindstone for now. And that should open up mana potions. Very good. And wisp of light and flask of the fell. <clears throat> we're going to have to go to Revelwood to get strawberries for this. But we should be able to make this and this and we got the larger mana potion which we can't make until we go to Revelwood to get chamomile also but at least we can make normal mana potions now um and we're going to need to start picking up the blue mushrooms for that which also mostly i think we find in Revelwood but we did find the one in the in the shroud there this one i want to do so let's make some um uh, oh, yeah, we got to get critter parts and firefly parts, which I have in one of these chests. I got a whole mess of critter parts just from all the, you know, critters and stuff we've been killing. We turn all this into bug dust. Make a few glow dusts. All right, what are we missing for a wisp of light? Oh, we need resin. Okay. Do let me know. Um, resin should be in here. Yes. We have that. Hey! Hey! Hey, yourself. Good. Okay, so we have some light potions now. And uh, I might wait for it to get dark and go gather a bunch more flyer, uh, flyer flies. <laughs> Fireflies. Uh, to do that. Um, let's make some goo. Just because I think it might unlock something else. So we need dirt for that. Yeah. 
Oh, and shroud liquid. Whoop. Um, I'm going to put that in there. Uh, I don't th think we need actually need this to make anything right now. Uh, too bad it didn't unlock lightning for us since we found the spell, but apparently... We're not ready for that yet. Oh, we got a new set. It's the healer set. Oh, no, we got two new sets. Oh, okay, we got to look at this. We definitely have to look at that. Okay, so right now we have the Alchemist Apprentice set. So this is higher level, the mage set. Uh, that's going to give us critical strike chance, 13%, which is pretty good. More mana, more magic damage, more mana, and mana regen. Two, because we only have one right now. The healer set is a few less seconds before we start healing again. Healing, healing, revive heal percentage, and mana regen also. Yeah, the healer set is definitely not something we want as a solo player. I mean, I'm not saying somebody might not use it, but I don't want it. Uh, so, we, yeah, we got to make this. So, so we're looking. Oh, shit. We, we need indigo plant. Okay. We, <laughs> we can't do that until we get to Revelwood. Never mind. Yeah, this all requires indigo. So, we'll have to wait till Revelwood before we can do that. But it is going to be a high priority for sure. All right, now, um, we can't do those till Revelwood. We can't really do those till Revelwood. We can do these, and we already have some, and I just want to go grab, and this is not till Revelwood either. All right, so let's go grab some fireflies um, so we can make a few more light potions while it's dark outside. All right, uh, we got um, a whole bunch of uh, fireflies, 23. So I'm going to turn all of these into glow dust because I don't, I don't really use the firefly lights. There's nothing wrong with them. Um, well, except for not, they're not that bright, actually. All right, and then let's make one more of these. And... I'd like to make some more fireballs, but yeah, we're gonna need more resin for that. We got lots of tar and bone meal. Um, can these stack more than just five? They can. Okay. So I think what I'll do then is I'm just gonna turn all of these into. Yeah, they must have increased the stack size on those. Because I, I thought we used to only be able to have five at a time. Could be wrong about that. Could be very wrong about that, actually. Uh, but I don't remember. All right, we'll put the bug dust and the glow dust in there. Speaking of bug dust, I still have... Yeah, I've got like two more, two full stacks of stuff there. Um, For later. All right, before we go out and about... How many runes do I have? I've got quite a few runes. I think maybe we'll upgrade Hail Scourge because we'll probably keep that for a while. Piercing, cutting, blunt. Yeah, let's just do it. Uh, we need to also upgrade this. I don't know why the hell I haven't done that yet. I'm not going to upgrade the bolo because, again... We don't use the bow really for combat, just for trap springing. Okay. Uh, also, this other healing spell that I found is actually chain heal, and I don't think that does. In, I don't think that's useful in single player. So I don't think it even heals me. Um. All right. What I'd like to do is I'm gonna go. 
Uh, let's sleep. I'm going to go farm up some more resin so I can make a few more fireball spells, and then we'll take off and go get our farmer. All right, guys. Um, I have been just kind of farming my way up the western side of the map here, uh, going after resin, and there aren't a whole lot of autumn trees on this side, I've noticed. So I probably won't come this way again for that purpose. Uh, but we are very near a... Uh, a root here, and uh, I think we're going to go after it to get some points. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, we're, I am going to take one of these because I don't know what kind of enemies we're going to run into down there. And one of those. And let's just have fireball ready on the staff. And let's do it. Yeah, we got a a wraith. Uh, but these these enemies aren't that uh, that bad actually. All right, we still have a few more. I think that's it. Some more bugs pop out somewhere. Okay, let's kill this evil thing. Hey, cut that out. All right. Loot these guys. Is there a spawner over here? Nope. They just popped out of nowhere. Oh, backpack is full. Let's uh, salvage that, and I have 29 resin. I want to get a, a little bit more before we we proceed. Uh, but how many how many points did we get? We got one point for that. Okay, so we need we're saving up for four points to get blink. So we'll just sit on that point for now, and we got another shroud root out of the way. That's fantastic. All right, so I managed to farm up uh, 65 resin. And uh, so we want to do fireball. We need some tar and bone meal. Uh, this area right here, this is the spire. So this little area to the south and southeast is uh, pretty good for uh, right across the Brayland Bridge and down in here. It's pretty good for um, autumn trees. Just in case you didn't know, some of you probably already know that. What am I doing? Uh, we're getting tar. That's what we're doing. Oh, let's grab some tar out of there. And and bone meal. Feel the spirits yeah. of nature. Lots of bone meal. Okay, so let's see. We get 20 per. Let's go that many. So that gives us 121. Okay, good. We'll put the rest of this stuff back in here. Um, you can go in there. You can... Actually, yeah, I'm going to put this stuff back in the kiln for now. Just because I haven't done anything with my storage yet. And um, I'm not really planning to until we move to our permanent base location. Uh, or I'm doing the very minimum I have to do to make things work, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so let's uh, make sure we have full rested buff. Looks like we need just a tiny bit of healing here.
And we're going to go after the farmer. So let's get the... Uh, yeah, we already have that activated. Okay. Walls, walls, Andrew's chest. Oh, that's that's back over by uh, Marwenna. I think. Oh, no, that, that's in Diadwin. Okay. Not a problem. Okay, so let's um, head over to the farmer and get her liberated. And then we'll have all of our craftspeople except for the new one, which we won't be able to get until we go through the first dungeon. The Collector is that, that guy's name. All right, so we're going to go this way. Ancient Vault Farmer. Yep. So basically, we just go due north. Um, Let's do a honey for the trip. Down there. And also a, a water. And we'll do a health. And that should be good for the trip there. I'll keep this on ice bolt for now. Here we go. Nice little extended uh, glide there. Take that. Uh, there's an elixir well down there too. Oh, here's a flame altar. Flame Shrine. I always get the Altar Shrine mixed up. Grab that. And that. Okay, let's go through here. Um, hey, we got a level up. Nice. Is that enough to get us blink? It is not. We're still one point shy of blink. Okay, well, we'll keep at it then. Uh, let me, before we get too much closer, I have to remember where another vote well, was. Leave it. Da, 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 da. Yeah, okay. I, I know there's a, a quest that we have to do in this town at some point, but we'll probably... Let's see what level these guys are. Eh, they're level 7. They're not that big a deal. Let's just go through here. We'll kill them and get some scrap metal. Whoops. Oh, out of mana already. I know I have mana potions, but we'll conserve them for harder fights. And we can't hit him from here. down here. He did. And I thought I heard it. Yeah, I was going to say, I think I heard another guy. All right. Pause the screen to read those. Uh-uh. 
That's apparently nothing. Uh oh, we got another enemy somewhere. What's going on over here? Oh, it's a bunny. It's a repair bench. We'll take that. That was worth coming down here for. I knew there was going to be a bad guy down here. I just felt it in my bones. Actually, I was thinking it was going to be rats, because that's what are usually down here. Sometimes spiders, and sometimes bad guys. Alright, anyway, let's get moving here. I'm, I'm kind of Getting sidetracked from our main goal. I know there's more stuff we could loot over there, but I, I'm not worried about it right now, to be honest with you. We could... We could try and do that at Elixir Well to get the last point for Blink. Um, I am inclined to get sidetracked for that reason. So why don't we do it? Especially since it's right here. Pretty easy to get to. I'm going to take one of these because we'll be able to replenish our shroud uh, timer at the top of the well. Um, and then for food, we still have water active, but we'll do mana and then we'll replace that with spirit once the water runs out. All right, let's set this to fireball and go do this well. Get wrecked. You guys are level 9. Any other meanies around here? It's just a bug. I'm not worried about him so much. Okay, so let's replenish our shroud timer. Uh, I heard another bad guy. Where are you? I don't know where he is. All right, well, whatever. Screw him. Let's go. Okay, so the root is down that way.
there's a chest. More heal channel. Uh, speaking of which, let's make sure we're topped off. thing. Shit. Switch two bars. off here. Got a bunch of bugs over that way. We will use our wand for them. Let's get their nest. Alright. Go down here. That actually hurt. It actually did. I've got a uh, bad guy down there. Another bad guy there. Can we get him from up here? Oh, no. God damn it. I hate it when he does that. Okay. I think this is going to be a fell thunder brute. Let's clear some of this shit out of the way so it doesn't affect us later. And let's also take our our spirit buff and we got a chest here. Nice bolt. Oh, okay, thunder brute is on us. This is one of those non-boss ones. I mean, it doesn't bring up a boss bar for some reason. By boss bar, I mean the one that shows up in the upper right-hand corner. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Anybody else? out another elixir well. Yes. Now we need to figure out where the chest is.
Maybe over this way, probably. Shit. Not up here. Oh, shit. There it is. Get away from that exploding thing. There we go. That didn't kill their nest though. Another nest. Okay, we got a wand. Let's get away from that nest. And what do we get? Uh, an ice wand, level 9. It's a higher level than this, but it's only a common. Yeah, I, I, I think it's not better. Ooh, that's good. Where do we get that from? All right, let's go character, mana regen, life leech chance. I haven't really noticed this helping us a whole lot. I think I'm going to swap it out for this one. There we go. All right, cool. Um, let's look at the map here. So we got another one of those out of the way. I'm gonna let's uh, let's fast travel to. Here. Well, actually, we're going to do that. We might as well go home, drop off, repair, rest, get rested buff. So, all right, I'll meet you guys over here, and then we'll work our way up this way to the ancient vault. Does this wrap around and go up there? I think it does. All right. No, I'm not going to waste time messing around with this place. Hey, there's clay. We needed that. And also, we have, um, whatchamacallit, the purple stuff that we need for our next mage set. 
Okay, so we farmed up a full stack of clay. Let's also make a flame altar. And then we'll get rid of this stone. Okay. Yeah, this stuff here. We need that for our mage, new, new mage armor. Um, I don't think this road's going to take us where we need to go, though. But it's good that we're picking some of this because once we get Emily, then we can plant it. We're going to need all of this stuff here. How about some strawberries? I would, I'd like to find at least one strawberry plant so we can plant them. Definitely need the beets, too. And the flax. Well, shoot. Maybe we can get enough of this indigo to make the set and still have extra left over for planting. Um, okay, yeah, I know we're getting severely sidetracked here, but let's let's see if we can at least find some strawberries. And then we'll backtrack and go where we need to go. Oh, there's another one of those guys that'll give us shroud sacks, too. That's, is that a clay or a copper mine? I think it's clay. Yeah, that's clay. Hell, man, maybe we should just... Maybe we should do the farmer in the next episode and just do the spire now and open up the whole rebel wood for us. Another spark. Pause the screen to read that. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Change of plans. We're, we'll get the farmer in the next episode. Um, we're close enough to the Rebel Wood Spire that it makes sense for us to just press on and get there and, and find some strawberries. So, yeah, let's just keep following this road. Pick as much indigo. Oh shit. Um, how do these guys do against lightning? Uh, he's not targeting. Okay, he resisted it. So don't lose use lightning on those. What about fireball? You'd think he'd re resist fireballs. Oh no. Yeah, he's very very weak to fireball. Okay. Fireball for the win once again. There's some strawberries. Okay, good. Uh, all right, let's go this way. That's where we got to get to.
We're gonna have some baddies crossing the bridge here. We're gonna set up uh, for ice with them because they're gonna be scavengers. More chamomile, too. Beautiful. All right. Uh, bridge. We've got to go across the bridge. Uh, where's it at? It's over here. See, when I came into Revelwood for the first time in, in Season 1, I, I came from a different direction. Um, I did not go across this bridge. In fact, I don't even know if I've ever been across this bridge. I probably have. Uh, okay, Ice Bolt. Let's do this. Actually, wait a second. Maybe this is the bridge that I went across. I just approached it from a different spot, so... Oh, wow. That's a lot of bad guys. Okay. Um, let's get fire for the dogs. Yeah, I think this is the same bridge. I just came at it from a different area, so I didn't recognize it at first. Okay, let's switch back to you. take a health potion actually I didn't realize our health was down that low out of mana there you go that'll learn you I know, I shouldn't be using fire on those, but we got the job done. That's the important thing. Whoa. Okay, let's uh, top off here. And we also need to... Take one of those. All right, we're good.
Okay, to get up there, there's a big glow cave. We need to go around this way. More strawberries, beautiful. I don't think, oh, here's copper. Okay, let's tap that so we can learn the recipes. And um, actually, I'll want to get enough to make our first copper pick. It's just that using the scrap pick on this sucks. <laughs> but we don't have a choice until we get enough to make our first copper pick. Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll do this later. Um, because once we get the spire unlocked, then it'll be easy to get to. Let's also make a little bit of room here. Uh, I don't really want to throw any of that stuff out. Okay. Yeah, we might have to go through the shroud to actually get up there if I recall. But let's see. Maybe not. There might be a quicker way to get up there. Some more beats. Hello, deer. Deer looking thing, anyways. Uh, switch to fireball for in the shroud. There we go. Oh shit! Woohoo! Gotta level up. Nice. Alright, we should now be able to get. Oh, we got eight points. Beautiful. Alright, let's get Blink. Fan frickin' tastic. An emergency Blink. And Blink Attack. There we go. We got them all. Blink attack can be a really good finisher. Uh, all right, so we got all that. Now we're going to start working our way directly up the wizard tree. Um, necromancer, killing an enemy. Yeah, I mean, maybe later. Uh, but I want to focus on lightning and probably fire. Yeah, lightning and fire, and also radiant aura, too. So we might actually go fire first to get to this, and then go up lightning. So that's the that's the plan. Oh, there's another one. That's the plan for now. All right, let's get this guy. Oh shit! I did not even see you there.
Excellent. Okay, now we can start making raw game. And up our health... Uh, health buff. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's the deal. We are out of time in this episode, so I'm going to set an altar down here. Go home, heal, put everything away, etc. And then we'll start the next episode by uh, doing the Revelwood Spire, and then we will go get Emily, and then we'll plant some crops and move up in the world. That is the plan stance. So thanks, everybody, for... Whoa, that's right. I can't put this real close to the spire. Let's go back down the road and tell her we can set it down. There we go. That's good enough. Okay. Uh, yeah, so thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.